Hello, my name is Megan and I am the Play With Me Gallery Manager at the Louisiana Children's Museum. When I'm at home, I love to kick off my shoes and walk around my yard so I can feel the grass in between my toes and the leaves crunch under my feet. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own sensory path inspired by the sensory path at our museum so that you can experience textures around your home in a new, exciting way. Our sensory path is made of all natural materials, including rocks, bamboo, and sand. Young children learn about the world around them through their senses, and this path is a way for them to explore different textures, sounds, and looks all in one space. Children can build vocabulary skills as you discuss with them what each material feels like, sounds like, and looks like as they walk across the path. To make your own sensory path, you will need a few shallow containers and a variety of materials that can go inside. I am going to use leaves, shredded paper, socks, rocks, and water, but feel free to use any materials that you find around your house or outdoors. Have your child help you collect materials and fill each container with one. I chose different things for each container. where you're going to set up your sensory path and line up all your filled containers in a row. I'm outside in my backyard, so I don't have to worry about making a mess. But you can do your sensory path inside or outdoors. Now it is time to take a walk across your sensory path. As you and your child step across each material, ask your child to describe what it feels like. If they're having a hard time describing the texture, ask them questions like, does it feel soft, like a kitten's fur, or smooth, like the kitchen table? This will help them build connections between things they already know and the new things they are, they are experiencing. When you get to the end, mix up the containers and do it again. You can even have your child close their eyes and guess what they're feeling without looking. If you have a little one who isn't walking yet, they can still experience the sensory path through their sense of touch. Make sure you narrate to them what they are feeling as they experience each material. Mm, you're splashing in the water. The water feels wet. You picked up some rocks. The rocks are rough. By describing what they are feeling, you are connecting words to the materials that they feel and building upon their vocabulary. At the Louisiana Children's Museum, we document our experiences to make children's thinking and learning visible. This is a great time to write down things your child says and document their observations. You can also have your child document their own thinking by writing or drawing what they felt in their sensory path. Today, we created a sensory path with materials we found around our homes. We would love to see your pictures and documentation of the paths that you made. Please share them with us in the comment section or post them to your page and tag us at hashtag LCM Connections and hashtag Louisiana Kids. Thank you for joining us for Connections at Home. My name is Megan and I hope you'll join us for our next episode. Until then, let's play, learn, and stay connected.